Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you all my recipe for an easy cream of wheat parasite. I'm going to share with you all my version of course, but feel free to follow the steps and switch it up and make it to how you would like it. And you're going to have the most delicious, most fluffy parasite you've ever made. So if you'd like to see how to make this, keep watching. So we're going to start in a heavy bottom pan. I'm adding in some whole milk or stay fresh milk. You can use carnation if you want to. I just prefer using whole milk. I'm also going to go in with some light brown sugar or you can use granulated sugar. We're going to give that a mix. Allow the sugar to dissolve and bring this up to a simmer. You want the milk to be nice and warm. Leave it on a low flame on your stove. Next, let's start patching our cream of wheat. So to patch my cream of wheat, I actually like doing it with some ghee in the pot. Allow the ghee to melt. And once the ghee is nice and melted, you're going to go in with the cream of wheat. Now I'm using the red box cream of wheat here, but feel free to use suji or farina, whatever you can find. I'm going into there with one cup and then I'll add another cup. So I use the entire box, which is two cups in total. And I like to do it this way rather than toast it in a dry pan because I find it has a very funny taste when you do it in a dry pan. So I'm gonna toast this here for about 15 minutes on a low heat. Now we're going to go in with some raisins, some cardamom powder, and some fresh ginger. The key to this is fresh ginger, guys. This does add so much more flavor. We're going to mix those in and allow it to warm through for about five minutes. And once it's properly mixed in and warmed through, we're going to go ahead and give it a mix and then start adding our milk or pag. Add it in, so you wanna add a half and mix. You don't want to add all at once because it can become very, very soggy and sticky and gooey. If you want that type of parasite, by all means add all. So I like to add a little at a time and I will continue to mix and you'll see it will start to absorb that pag or that milk. And you guys notice I didn't add a ton of flavorings into the milk. If you wanted to add like cinnamon, cardamom, more stuff to the milk, feel free to. I'm adding in all of my milk because I think that I need it because it looks dry and it looks like it can absorb the rest of the milk. So that's how you're going to know when to stop. If it looks sticky and it's not absorbing the milk, you need to stop. So I used all of the milk for that two cups of cream of wheat. All I have to do is mix this and allow the milk to dry out, make sure there are no sticky parts. And then this is ready to be served. Remember, if you're using this for puja, do not taste it. And I like using that cutting motion to kind of break it up and break it apart and get it nice and fluffy. After you've done this, all you have to do is go ahead and dish this out and use it for your puja, your offerings, or to serve your guests. I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. If you wanted to use one part cream of wheat or one part flour, feel free to do so. And if you wanted to use all flour for this recipe, you can. It's a very easy recipe to switch up and to follow. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.